presenting VCR2, the world's first dual deck VCR. With the patented dual deck system. Now duplicating tapes is as easy as one touch of a button. Exclusive HQ Copy creates exceptional duplications, generation after generation after generation. You can edit commercials out of your videotapes with a few simple steps. A full function remote control puts the VCR2 features at your fingertips. On-screen programming makes it simple to change VCR2 settings. The VCR2 from Go Video. Other VCRs can imitate, but never duplicate. Ask for a demonstration. Okay, you're excited. You went ahead and got it. And now you're the proud owner of the new VCR2. If you're watching this tape, you've successfully hooked up your VCR2 to your TV set, and the automatic play feature is operating. Nice going. You're off to a great start. And that was easy, right? You're going to find everything about operating your VCR2 easy as pie with the help of this unique video manual and your simple-to-follow owner's guide. But before we go any further, you get a big pat on the back for purchasing the first and only dual deck consumer VCR on earth. And the only VCR that comes with a five-year parts and labor buyer protection plan. So again, congratulations. You've made a very smart purchase. Your VCR 2 does things no other VCR has ever been able to do. And in the next half hour or so, this video manual will help you become a VCR 2 expert. Now, let me tell you how to find your way around your video manual. The table of contents at the beginning corresponds to the numbers you'll see in the upper right-hand corner of your TV screen. When you want to find a specific section of the tape you're playing, press fast forward or rewind. This is called picture scan, and it lets you watch a tape at high speed. You can read more about this feature on page 12 of your owner's guide. When you see the numbers you're looking for, Press play. You can also look for the bright red screens that appear at the beginning of each section. You've probably already figured out that the remote control up there in the corner is showing you which buttons to push. And I'll also push the buttons on the front panel of the VCR2 so you can use either one. While you're watching this tape, don't actually push the buttons or things will appear on your screen that may confuse you. But by all means, if you want to try something, Stop the tape and do it. Okay, first things first, we're going to set the clock. Right off, you'll notice an obvious difference between your VCR2 and other VCRs. No blinking 12 o'clock. That blinking drives me crazy. It's sort of like a, a dripping faucet. Once you've set your clock, It'll stay set unless your power goes off, like during an electrical storm, for example. In fact, it's a good idea to unplug your VCR2 and other electronics during an electrical storm to protect them from lightning surge. To set your clock, use your remote control. Your remote control makes it really simple to change settings on your VCR2 because it has these numeric buttons. I'll show you what I mean. First, you press the menu button 
which is on the left side of your remote control. Remember, don't do this right now. If you look at your TV, you'll see the main menu. All the on-screen programming menus are listed here on the main menu. What is on-screen programming? Well, I'll tell you, it's a great feature of your VCR2 that makes it easy to view and change VCR2 settings right on your TV screen. It's pretty easy to find your way around, especially if you use those numeric buttons. See the line that says set date and time? That's the one I want, so I'll press three. Now you'll see the calendar. The top line, set month, tells me what to do next. I punch in the month. 01 for January, 02 for February, 03 for March, and so on. Or I can use the up and down buttons to change the month like this. The month I pick shows up on the second line, and it's blinking so I can find it easily. When I've got it right, I press the next button over there on the left side of the remote control. Now I set the year. I go on through the day, the hour, the minute, and AM, PM. I can't use numbers for AM, PM, so I press the down button to change that setting. When I've got everything right, I press save to store my settings and return to the main menu. I press save again to make the main menu disappear. Now that was pretty simple, wasn't it? If you want to look over those instructions, check page 25 of your owner's guide. And if you want to try setting the clock, stop this tape and try it. Or you can rewind the tape and watch it again if you'd like. The time and day of the week now appear on the front panel of your VCR, too. You can also see the time and date on the on-screen display, so let me show that to you. Another great feature of your VCR, too, is the on-screen display, which shows up on your TV screen just about every time you push a button. It stays there for about six seconds and tells you what's going on with your VCR, too. The upper left tells you what deck one is doing, and the upper right tells you what deck two is doing. The middle section tells you what you're watching, and down at the bottom are the date and time. If you change the recording source, which I'll tell you about later, the date and time disappear, and you'll see these blocks in the bottom corners that tell you what deck one and deck two are ready to record. Page 28 of your owner's guide will tell you more about on-screen display. Now let me show you some of the amazing things you can do with your dual deck system. Of course, the dual deck system has all the features you'd expect, like playing a tape or recording a TV program. You can read instructions for those features in the owner's guide. I'm going to show you the things that only you and your VCR2 can do, and we're going to start with duplicating a tape. Duplicating a tape is one of the simplest things you can do on your VCR2. Now watch this. I put my pre-recorded tape, like this video I shot on my ski trip, into deck one. I put my blank tape into deck two. I press the copy tape button. Now I can run out to the kitchen and make myself a sandwich, or I can watch anything I want on TV, and I end up with an exceptional quality duplication. And all I had to do was press one button copy tape. Now that's one great button. It's really that simple. And you can learn more tips to make your duplications even better, like recording onto high quality tapes, by reading page 13 of your owner's guide. If you have a blank tape handy, try duplicating a few minutes of this video manual. You can rewind this tape and watch the steps again if you need to. Now, I uh, want to remove that embarrassing scene that's coming up. I uh, fell down. Uh, no problem. I'm already duplicating my tape with the copy tape button. When that scene starts, I just press the pause button on deck two. Deck one keeps playing, but deck two stops recording. When I'm back on my skis, I press the deck two record button again, and the duplication continues. That's how easy it is to edit out scenes on your VCR, too. Now, what if I want to add scenes from other tapes to my vacation masterpiece? Still, no problem. I press the Deck 2 pause button at the appropriate time. 
Then I stop the tape in deck one and eject it. The tape with the next scene is loaded into deck one and I press deck one play button. When the next scene is about to begin, I press the deck two record button again. They're the same steps I used to edit out my tumble, but I switched the tapes in deck one while deck two was paused. You can learn other tips for making your edited tapes even better by reading pages 16 and 17 of your owner's guide. You want to try it? Stop this tape and see if you can edit out a scene. Rewind the tape if you want to go over those steps again. Now here's another great thing you can only do on your VCR too. Now let's say I invite some friends over to watch a new adventure movie I rented. I fill the popcorn bowls and I pop the tape into deck one or deck two, it doesn't matter. I press play and we all sit back on the couch to watch the movie. Suddenly I remember that the final episode of the miniseries I've been following is on. Without even getting off the couch, I can watch the movie and record the miniseries with these three steps using my remote control. First, I select a TV channel on the VCR2. Then I make sure deck two is set to record from the tuner, which is the TV receiver in my VCR2. Then I press the deck two record button. I always keep a blank tape in deck two for just this kind of emergency. Now I'm recording the miniseries, and I press the deck one button down there in the TV view area so I can finish watching this movie. Now, the TV view buttons let me select what I want to see, so, well, if the movie gets boring, I can press the Deck 2 button and watch the exciting final episode of my miniseries. Now, that's terrific. If you want to go over those steps again, read page 14 of your owner's guide, or watch this part of the tape again. What else can your dual deck system do? Well, how about recording two different TV shows at the same time? This takes a few more steps than most of the things I've shown you, so I'll let you look it over on page 15 of your owner's guide. But keep in mind, it's one more thing that you can do only with your VCR2. Now, let's say the family is about to go out to dinner. And my daughter announces that she's supposed to watch this educational special. No problem. You know that blank tape I always keep in deck two? Back to my three simple steps, and I'm recording the show. Now, I want my recording to stop at the end of the one-hour special. I'll use the VCR2 feature called One Two Recording, or OTR, and it's really simple. All I have to do is press the record button again. Now the recording is set to shut off after 30 minutes. When I press record again, it shuts off after one hour. Another press is an hour and a half. And, well, you've probably got the idea. You can see how much time you've set by looking at the on-screen display on your TV. The second line says OTR, you know, one, two recording, and shows you how much automatic recording time is left. One, two, and you're through. You can read more about one, two recording on page 18 of your owner's guide, and you can give it a try right now. If you have a blank tape around, stop this video manual and try it yourself.